With the introduction of the new A10 Mini Extreme and A10 Mini Extreme ISO, Blackmagic did it. What did they do? Well, they brought their flagship multi-view all the way from their 8K constellation, the most expensive ATEM switcher, all the way to the ATEM Mini Extreme or ATEM Mini Extreme ISO. And why is that so important to you? Well, it has a plethora of built-in features that can be very handy for you and your production. So are we ready? Let's get started. So first and foremost, Thank you so much for the overwhelming support that you've given me the last week. A lot of subscribers uh, are here. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. And also some really cool questions. And this one, for example, is one of the questions that I picked out. And that was also the reason why I chosen to talk about the multi-view. So as you can see, if you have any comments and you want to know more, then please go ahead and give some comments. And also while you're at it, please subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon to get notified for future content. All right, so first and foremost, what is a multi-view? Well, this is a multi-view. This is where you can see all of your camera angles in one glance and you can see it moving as well. So there are now pictures or so. You can really, really talk and check it out and see what is the next camera angle for your production. So for example, now I'm on the, the, the switcher itself, but maybe I wanna go to camera one and then I just say it cuts and then I'm going to camera one or maybe I'm gonna go back to three, boom, like so. Now, you can actually also see a red and a green box uh, 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 around it and that the red one says program and the green one is preview. So that is very, a powerful feature uh, of the of the um, multi view as well. All right, so now you know what a multi view is. Is it everywhere? Is it an all ATEM mini series? Um, almost. The only one that doesn't have it is the ATEM mini itself. So, but that's a three hundred fifty euro uh, product. So something has to give, right? But all the other ones have a, a built-in multi-view, which is really cool. So that means that you can actually see what you're switching at. Now, the A10 Mini Pro does have a different one than the uh, the Extreme has, but it's not really a big difference, but there is a difference. But let's get to the Extreme and let's talk about how you can change this look and feel that we have right here. Now, like everything within ATEM, you can actually do that with the software. So let's go into the software right here and uh, let's go out of this one to show you how I get there. Uh, let's go all the way to the bottom left. There's a, a radar dish. Let's click on that right there. And here you go. This is the multi view right here. Now, what can you see here on the on the top left you see view control this is where you can select how you want the multi view to look so for example the, the big program that we had prior we can actually change that to four different uh, uh environments and if i then click back to the multi view you'll see that out of a sudden out of the blue that program is gone and you can use it for other possibilities as well. So for example, now I have the clean feed added or the super source. So the clean feed does mean, for example, if you have some graphics, you want to remove them and the super source, that is a video by itself. That is like extremely extreme. And that's why it's called the extreme. So yes, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> I just had it to say that. So let's go back and make this a program again. But this time around, I also want to have a big preview. Well, the only thing that I need to do is click on the top left position. It's, it becomes a preview. And once I go back to the screen, hey, now I can actually see my, my preview and what I'm recording. So I can just cut between the two or uh, take another camera and just switch it like so. So that's a possibility as well. Let's change it back. Oh, or let's add there or something. Let's add that here, add that there. And now we're back to where we were. Um, other thing that we can do, for example, if you want to change, I don't know, a color or something, you can change the multiplayer 
to not uh, show the multiplayer, but something else. For, exa oh, for example, I can also show it to um, do, for example, a color. And then if I go back, you'll see a white color. Um, something else that I can do is that I can actually change it to color bars. For example, if I want to test something, that becomes now available to me. So I can actually go to color bars and show it, which is really, really powerful as well. Um, but that's not all. One of my favorites is, for example, to switch uh, on the um, audio. So the audio status. So now I can actually see my audio built in on the right hand side. And now I also see, hey, for some reason, I'm not bringing in any audio to my um, to my program. How? How? What, what? What is there going on? Oh, I think I found it right uh, right here. So now I have it on the on the program. So it allows me to see what I am doing, which is really really powerful. So you can see there's a lot of functionality built in right here, and that is the power. And if you want to see, uh, you don't see the audio meters, you can just remove them. Like so, all of the audio meters are gone, with the exception of that one that we just added. Um, other things that we can do, well, let's uh, let's click on something else. Um, oh yeah, of course, within the extreme we have multiple outputs. So if I go back to the uh, to the application, I can just switch whatever camera I want, but I can also say I want to see the output one, and then I can see the output one. Now that's this one right here. Now, or output two and output uh, uh, one, or output two, I can just change it on the fly, and that is really powerful. So now you can see what the power is of that multi view. Now, that's not all. So, so these are this is very specific to this multi view. Uh, what is also there is that, of course, you can also change the camera names. For example, if you don't like camera one, camera two camera three, you can also change them to, for example, more meaningful names, like, for example, uh, main, or um, if, if, if I'm, a cam um, I'm the camera operator, Petra, or uh, do, do John, or something, that's also possible within the, the tool. So we can also do that. And the way that we do that is with labels. So let's go ahead and go back to the screen. And let's just change one to show you what it looks like. So, for example, if I go back to this one, I want to change the name of camera one. I'll just change it to um, to main, like so. Then uh, I say save. And now, if I go back to the um, to the multi view, you will see da da da. That all the way on the top left, you'll see main as the name of camera one, which is really, really cool indeed. Okay, so that is the power of the multi view and why I think it's a really cool added feature. Again, if you want to uh, subscribe to the channel, please go ahead and do that. Don't forget that is really important to me uh, that, that, that you do that because that will help me if it works. <laughs> um, it will help me to grow the channel and uh, bring you even better uh, uh, products in the future as well. Thank you so much and have a fantastic day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.